Still tracking rain out there. Still tracking rain and thunderstorms right now. No warnings. Don't look like these are going to really mature to that level, but something we're going to keep our eye on just in case. Here's a look at first alert radar replay mode time. You can still see these showers really not going that far up the color codes. We're not talking about that many yellow or red or orange centers. It's mostly green and a couple shades of green. Yeah, the lightning counter is still going on, but these things are moving out. As a matter of fact, let's look at the lightning counter. Remember it before the break it was at 88 and now it's down to what? 65. So these are weakening quite a bit. Let me zoom it in quite a little bit to the east and northeast from Bethany toward Trenton toward Chillicothe. That's where the bulk of these the back edge already making it toward Gallatin and moving farther to the east and northeast. Back down toward Kansas City. Well, we don't have much happening here. We have partly cloudy skies, so a little bit of starlight trying to peek through 51 degrees north to northeast winds at 11 miles an hour. Our humidity is high, so there is still a little bit of fog out there. Maybe some mist. That's about all we're going to see in the metro. I think 51 Excelsior Springs, 54 in DeSoto, 53 in Grandview, Leavenworth, also 51 degrees farther to the north, already 49 degrees in St. Joseph, 53 in Chillicothe down on the other side of that warm front. 62 currently in Butler, 60 in Sedalia. Worse are also in the 60s, those warmer colors, those oranges and those yellows. Here's a look at first look clouds and radar. Really not that many breaks in the overcast, maybe a little thinner, but not total breaks. So still think it would be partly cloudy. And what's left of those rain showers and thunderstorms still exiting the extreme northeastern corner of our viewing region. Look at that first look future scan right on the money pretty much with the intensity and the position of these. Still going on at midnight, most of it gone. Another batch will try to develop, but I don't think they're going to be as organized or as heavy or as widespread. So this is now three in the morning. Seems to be the same area, 36 highway and north. Really not much happening down toward the metro itself. Seven in the morning, cloudy skies. Yes, maybe a little bit of fog, but as far as widespread heavy rain to slow you down, I don't think that's going to be the case. And at noon, we're going to try to see a little sunshine. Not much It'll be filtered at best. 12 hour forecast. Pretty flat line as far as the temperatures are concerned. 40s in the morning, still a chance of some drizzle and fog in the morning. Afternoon high close to 50 degrees. High temps on Thursday in addition to Kansas City being in the 50s. 46 in Cameron, 45 degrees up in Maryville. 60 though in Garnett, 62 in Butler and 67 degrees in Warsaw. The exclusive first alert nine day forecast has it in the 50s two days in a row. Thursday, tomorrow, 51. Friday, an impact day because of showers on the other side of the day toward the evening and the afternoon hours. 38 in the morning, afternoon high 51. 36 and 58 on Sunday, looking good for sporting. On Sunday, another impact day with another chance of showers and thunderstorms likely. High still at 51 degrees, below normal for this time of year. 52 on Monday, 56 degrees on Tuesday. Here come the 60s once again for not just a day. 61 on Wednesday, 62 on Thursday. Chance of showers coming in on Friday, but right now it's looking pretty good for Royals home opener. We will